This is a Cambridge IGCSE Biology Paper 2 Multiple Choice Extended June 22 Talk 3. All living organisms release energy from nutrient molecules within their cells. What is the name of this characteristic? The release of energy is respiration. Growth is increasing in number. Nutrition is all about feeding and sensitivity is responding to the environment. Which diagram shows a flower from a monocotyledon? Remember with monocotyledons, the petals are in multiples of three and the leaves have parallel veins. Make sure you count all the petals. We have five here, five here, five here, six here. The answer here is D. The diagram shows a cross section through two guard cells of a leaf. Which label structures would also be found in an animal cell? So let's label all, all of these things. That's a chloroplast. Cell membrane, nucleus, cell wall. So you'd find W and X in an animal cell, the nucleus and the cell membrane. The answer here is A. The diagram shows a cross section through a leaf, which label shows a tissue. If we label all these other bits, this is the waxy cuticle. A is the leaf, which is an organ. C is the spongy mesophyll, which means that that's the tissue. D is just the stomata, which is a hole. Which statement describes the net movement of particles during diffusion? Remember, it's from a high concentration to low down a concentration gradient. So A is the answer. The diagram shows a section through a mesophyll cell of a leaf, which part is partially permeable. You want the cell membrane. That is B. What are the smaller basic units of starch and glycogen molecules? So starch gets broken down into glucose by amylase. Glycogen breaks down into glucose. Remember, glycogen is made through the action of insulin. So we want glucose and glucose. The answer here is D. In a length of DNA, 20% of the bases were T. What is the percentage of base G in this length of DNA? So if 20% were T, and T always binds to A, which leaves 60% left over, so that means 30% are C, 30% are G. The answer is here is 8C. Some terms are used to describe enzyme-controlled reactions. Which terms describe an enzyme? It is a catalyst, it's not a product. It is a protein, it's not a substrate, it's one and three. Nine A. Which statement describes the effect of temperature on enzymes? High temperatures denature enzymes, making it difficult for substrate molecules to fit into the active site. I do like that answer. High temperatures denature enzymes, making it easy? No, that won't make it easy if they're denatured. Low temperatures denature enzymes, impossible. Low temperatures denature enzymes. So again, that's why it's A. Tomato fruit production was measured in five different environmental conditions. What is the correct conclusion for the data shown in the graph? There are no limiting factors in one, so tomato fruit production is the lowest. Well, if there were no limiting factors, you'd expect it to be the highest. Temperature is the limiting factor in three. It says it's heated, so no. Carbon dioxide is the limiting factor in all five environmental conditions. It says here that the CO2 supplied in excess, so that can't be true. Light is the limiting factor of four. Yep, it doesn't mention anything about light, which it does in five, so the answer here is D. How do the air spaces in the spongy mesophyll of a leaf help to adapt it for photosynthesis? They act as a store of oxygen, no. They allow CO2 gas to diffuse through the leaf more rapidly. Yep, that's exactly the role of the spongy mesophyll gaps. 13. What is the dietary importance of fibre in humans? So it helps peristalsis, which is the movement of food through the gut, therefore preventing constipation. For growth and repair cells, no. To help food move through the alimentary canal, yes. To maintain strong bones and teeth, that's a calcium or vitamin D role to provide energy, no, that's fats and carbohydrates. In which part of the alimentary canal does ingestion take place? That means eating, so it's C. 
A non-woody plant stem is placed in water containing a red dye. It is left for one day and then a section of the stem is examined using a microscope, which tissue is stained red. The fact that we're talking about water means it needs to be the xylem. The xylem in the stem is the inner portion, so it's D. The diagram shows a cross section through a leaf which, from which cell will most water evaporate during transpiration. The answer here is the spongy mesophyll, it's D. The diagram shows the circulatory system of a fish. Remember, that's going to be a single circulatory system. Where in the circulatory system is the oxygen concentration lowest? So oxygenation occurs at the gills. So that makes sense that the blood coming to the gills has the lowest concentration. The answer here is A. What is the function of the lymphatic system? It's actually for the circulation of body fluids. You just need to learn that. The graph shows the response of the body to vaccination. Which word should we use to replace the letter X to complete the label on the y-axis? So when you inject a vaccination, what you're doing is injecting a weakened or dead form of the pathogen into your body. The antigen on the pathogen is recognised by lymphocytes, which release antibodies. So that's why we're interested in antibody concentration of the blood. The answer here is A. Which cells produce mucus? So we're looking at the windpipe, the trachea. It is actually the goblet cells that secrete the mucus and then the ciliated cells which waft that mucus laden with bacteria up to the mouth where it can be swallowed. Which row shows a change that occurs during ventilation? So when we're taking a breath in, an inspiration, because the volume increases, the pressure decreases, meaning the air moves in which is why that one's wrong. I've already said that inspiration involves an increase in volume of the thorax, which is why that one's wrong. When we expire, our volume inside our thorax decreases. Because we've got a smaller volume, the thorax pressure increases, air is moved out. The answer here is B. What is the balanced chemical equation for anaerobic respiration in yeast? So remember, you're taking glucose and you're making ethanol and carbon dioxide when there's no oxygen supplied. So now we need to identify C6H12O6. Yeah, these are all glucose. This one's wrong because we've got water. And then we need ethanol and carbon dioxide. So the answer here is C. Which statement correctly explains the difference in glucose concentration in the kidney tubule between X and Y? So this part here is the proximal convoluted tubule. Remember, glucose is reabsorbed back into the blood by active transport here. The glucose concentration is higher at X than at Y because glucose moves out of the kidney tubule by osmosis. Now, the issue there is osmosis because osmosis means the movement of water. The glucose concentration is higher at X than at Y because glucose has been actively transported. That's literally what I just said. So here we have high glucose and here we have low glucose because that glucose has been reabsorbed into the blood. Where in the eye is the greatest concentration of cells that allow humans to see colour? So these, remember, are the cones and they're found in huge numbers in the fovea. This is the fovea, part C. A scientist investigated the effect of drinking iced water on skin temperature. They drank a large volume of iced water and monitored the temperature of their skin. The results are shown on the graph. Which explanation of the change in skin temperature during the first 10 minutes is correct? So if they drank iced water, they want to increase their temperature. So they'll do that by doing vasoconstriction, which decreases blood flow to skin because those vessels are narrower. So vasoconstriction occurred, increasing blood flow to the skin. No, I've said it decreases it. Vasoconstriction occurred, reducing blood flow to the skin. Wonderful. The answer here is 25B. An experiment was set up to investigate the growth of shoots in different conditions as shown. This is all to do with auxins and tropisms, which diagram shows the results that would be seen a few days later. So if the direction of the light is coming from the right, you'd expect this shoot because it's intact to bend to the right. Because the tip has been removed here, you won't expect to see very much growth at all. 
And then over on this side, the foil cap means that the auxins aren't exposed to that light, so you'll get growth continuing in the normal direction. So let's have a look. That's correct. That's correct. That's wrong. That's correct. This one's taller than I would expect, so I think that one's wrong. So we know those ones are out. Now we're picking between B and D. Yep, I would expect D because I would expect that growth on that final shoot. An advisor was presented with a list of statements for a discussion group with potential parents who were considering using IVF to start a family. Which statements about IVF are correct? So in vitro fertilisation is all about taking that sperm and the egg and in a petri dish, fertilising the egg to increase the chance of these people having a baby. IVF is available to everyone. Sadly, it's not. IVF is 100% successful and therefore always leads to pregnancy. Again, not guaranteed. IVF provides an opportunity for single parents to have a family. Yes. IVF is not expensive and everyone can afford it. No, it is expensive. Sperm or egg donation may be involved, which means the couple are not always the biological parents. Again, true. The answer here is D. Which sequence of structures does a pollen tube grow through in a flower? So the pollen lands on the stigma, it then grows down the style, it enters the ovary, and then finally the ovule. The answer here is C. The diagram shows some events of the menstrual cycle. In which shaded zone of the cycle would progesterone levels be the highest? Now progesterone is released by the corpus luteum in the ovary. Its role is to maintain the uterus lining. So the egg has been released from the ovary here, ovulation. And so later on in that menstrual cycle, you'll expect that uterus lining to be needing to be maintained, which is why the answer here is D. What is needed in the cytoplasm to make proteins at a ribosome? Well, you need mRNA and amino acids. That's a strange question. Remember, the mRNA binds to the ribosome in the cytoplasm. And then the tRNA brings amino acids to the ribosome so they can be assembled. Pangolins and mammals, one species of pangolins has 40 chromosomes per body cell. How many chromosomes will the sperm cell? So if the body cell, the diploid number is 40, sperm cells are haploid, which means they'll contain half the number. The answer here is 20. Which adaptation is shown in the leaves of hydrophytes? This is that they contain large air spaces. Remember, these are aquatic plants, such as pond lilies, which float. Sickle cell anemia is a genetic disorder which results in severe illness in homozygous individuals. In some human populations, being heterozygous can be beneficial. Remember, these people won't get malaria because the plasmodium protoctus won't infect heterozygous individuals. So heterozygous individuals are more resistant to malaria is the answer. Which statement about selective breeding is correct? So selective breeding is when humans select animals and plants with favourable characteristics. So it definitely does not involve humans. It's not natural selection. It always involves one parent. No, it involves parents that possess desirable features. That's what I was just alluding to. The diagram shows the water cycle. Four different processes are numbered. Which row identifies the processes correctly? So... Number two is evaporation, because look, that lake's evaporating. Number one is precipitation, because it's raining. Number four is the trees transpiring. And number three is clouds forming, so condensation. So we're looking for, in order, one, two, three, four, precipitation, evaporation, condensation, transpiration. The answer here is C. A herd of red deer live in a forest that contains snakes and a large variety of birds. Which group of organism is an example of a population? So remember, this is all members belonging to the same species. So definitely not all the animals. 
or the red deer, yes. With which kingdoms do bacteria share the same genetic code? It's going to be all the other kingdoms, actually. So it's A. Which process makes use of a genetically engineered organism? So we use that to genetically modify bacteria to make human insulin. The answer here, again, is A. What is the reason for conserving plant species? To absorb oxygen from the air. No, they absorb carbon dioxide. To decrease rainfall. No, transpiration of plants increases rainfall. To obtain drugs for medicinal use. That is totally correct. We get so many of our drugs from plants. The food web shows the feeding relationships in a woodland. If all the chaffinches in the wood die, which effect would this have? So you'd expect the caterpillar number to increase because there were fewer chaffinches eating them, but the sparrowhawk number to decrease because they have less chaffinches to eat. So the population of caterpillars will decrease, wrong. The number of the wood pigeons will increase, again wrong, because the sparrowhawks need to eat more of them. The food supply for grey squirrels will increase. I wouldn't say so, no, because there's more caterpillars to eat the trees, which is a food supply for the grey squirrels. The amount of damage to trees will increase. Yes, because there's more caterpillars.